klaxon sound and the heavy tread of power armor boots thunders through the ship. Menials cower as Astardes respond to the Iron Warriors flooding in through the breaches in the hull of the Corsicara. The ship's systems were slowly coming back online, but Vox traffic was still intermittent and unreliable. However, no Vox message was needed to confirm what every Salamander legionary on the ship already knew. They had been betrayed, and the Iron Warriors had established a beachhead on their ship. Now was the time for action. Now was the time to reclaim the Corsicara. All right, Dirk here from Dirk's Dystopia. We're here for the second episode of the Flight of the Corsicara. Um, Iron Warriors have a beachhead on the ship, and uh, Tony's going to try and push further in. Today, his uh, his goal is to disable the Engineerium so that uh, I can't flee and uh, you know suck to flee into the warp with all his dudes on my ship. That's right. Uh, so he's going to come in. He's going to try and disable this, and uh, it should be a good game. Uh, I'm hoping we get all the rules right and. Uh, it's a, it's a lot of fun. So we'll be back in a second with the armies. The sarcophagus was clearly damaged, but not breached. The tech adepts scurried around, running checks and performing rites to the Omnissiah. How long until you can have him in another contemptor shell? queried Captain Neven. One of the tech adepts looked up from his data slate, shock evident even on his machine augmented face. His sarcophagus is badly damaged. The interfaces will take much time to repair. How long? growled the captain. We can hardwire him into a cordis shell. The process won't be pleasant for him, but we could probably do it within the hour, the adept stammered. Static hissed from the vox emitter on the sarcophagus, before Valkoff's strained voice came through. Do it. Wire me in. I will make up for my failings in the hangar bay. Salamander's army overview. It's going to be led by a Praetor in Cataphracti. He has all of the standard Praetor options. Uh, digital lasers, and he is carrying a thunder hammer. Uh, I also have upgraded him with the Salamander's only mantle of the Elder Drake, so he is Eternal Warrior. He's going to be leading five Cataphracti Terminators. Uh, Sergeant has a power sword. There are two chain fists, two power fists, and a uh, heavy flamer in there. Otherwise, it's uh, what you see is what you get. Then we have uh, Ancient Valkoth. He, uh, they slapped him in a Cordis Contemptor shell after the, uh, the last disastrous uh, outing. So he's out there, he's just not quite as effective as he was before. And then rounding out is uh, two 10-man veteran tactical squads uh, with a pair of heavy flamers in each. So that's Tax Squad 1, that's Tax Squad 2. I am running Pride of the Legion. To get this to work so the two veterans are the troops along with the terminators and then there's just the one elite choice so uh, none of the special salamanders rules that's what we have here idiot spat erasmus gulg you lost one of perturabo's iron circle he will not be pleased i deemed it an acceptable loss in the equation of war shot back warsmith delgar we have a beachhead on the salamander ship now that is Perturabo's call, retorted Golg. I will assume command of this boarding action and disable their engines. Assemble my veteran squads and terminators. Warsmith Delgar turned, chagrin clear on his face, and stalked back towards the hangar bay, shouting orders. Iron Warriors attack force. Yeah, so this is my, my thousand point army. Uh, it's led by good old Erasmus Golg. We're going for a more elite army this time. Uh, and then we're going to start over here. We have one of two veteran squads. They're pretty much identically kitted out. We have two missile launchers with suspensor webs, uh, sergeant with artificer armor, power axe, and bolt pistol. Uh, and then the, the Terminator squad, we got seven man this time, uh, auto cannon, a bunch of combi meltas, a couple guys with lightning claws. And then the second veteran squad with Sergeant with RD Armor, Power Fist, and Bolt Pistol. And again, the two missile launchers. Obviously, those guys will be taking um, sharpshooters as their veteran tactic for that, that sweet, sweet rending. Yeah, right. So we'll see how it goes. It's a lot less bodies than I normally bring, um, but I think the firepower is going to make up for it. Yeah, I think so too. All right, we'll be back with deployment. Air shrieked as the breaching charges imploded the blast door leading to the Engineerium. Disable their engines temporarily so these cowards cannot escape, barked Erasmus Golg. The rest of you, find a way to flank these pitiful lizards. Golg led his veteran squad down the hallway. Two missile launchers on suspensor webs floated with them. They took up position at the end of the passage in view of several backup generators and servitor-controlled maintenance machines. 
Around the corner, waiting in the stifling heat and haze, was ancient Valkoth and a Terminator squad led by Captain Naven. Turn one summary. We, uh, the Iron Warriors moved up, got a little better position, took a pot shot across. Uh, they actually scored a penetrating hit on the objective, uh, but the objectives have a four up invuln from uh, ranged attacks. The uh, attackers need to make sure that they are destroyed. So I did manage to pull up that four up invuln and uh, it's still there. Salamanders moved up. Uh, the Praetor split off and headed back towards this back hallway. I'm a little nervous about him outflanking down this hallway and uh, having free reign of all those objectives. I'm not sure the Praetor is such a good idea to send back there, but he's a brave salamander like that. Uh, the Terminators and the Contemptor moved up. Uh, the Terminators made three shots, snuck one through Erasmus's armor. Uh, he took a wound from their combi bolters, and then uh, I dropped the six from the uh, carries assault cannon and uh, managed to score two hits of the six and then Tony promptly picked up the dice and rolled two ones so um, yeah. that is an Erasmus shape hole right there at the front of the unit and uh, he's down a warlord but uh, he's yeah. a he's an excellent tactician and I believe that he will come back quite strong so how do you feel right now Tony oh uh, we're, we're... <clears throat> turn one did not go my way but <laughs> that's all right but turn two's here turn two's gonna be mine all right the Iron Warrior veterans pushed out of the passageway and took up position behind a servitor-controlled welder. The machine ignored them and continued its pre-programmed tasks. Two of the veteran legionaries struggled to get the missile launchers to lock onto a nearby plasma conduit. The oppressive heat and smoke made targeting difficult. Fire, growled Golg. Two missiles screamed out from the squad, wrecking some auxiliary equipment but doing no actual damage to the ship's systems. Miss again, and I will kill you myself, Golg threatened. Falkoth, take the Terminators and eliminate the threat on the engines. I will secure the central control stations and coordinate reinforcements, ordered Captain Event as he turned toward the access to the engine controls. Understood, Captain, came the tense voice from the fox emitter on the hulking dreadnought shell. The tech adept was not wrong. The process of being hardwired into the quarter shell was difficult and painful. Falkoth thundered around the corner, using all of his will to rein in the unruly machine spirit in his dreadnought frame. The Terminators followed closely behind. As they rounded the corner, they brought up their combi bolters, took aim, and fired at the Iron Warrior squad, taking cover behind the servitor. One of the shells found its mark, and Gold grunted as a bolt exploded and ripped into his chest. Milliseconds later, the assault cannon on Valkoth's right arm clattered and whined as it spun up to speed. A hail of shells peppered into the Iron Warriors. Two of the shells punched through the primary power conduits in Gold's Terminator armor, shutting his suit down and taking him out of the battle. Iron Warriors, uh, turn two, we're ro rolling for reserves here. All right, so Veteran Squad, uh, they get to come in on a two up. I get plus one to my reserve rolls because I won last game. All right, That's so they're veteran. coming. They're going to be out flanking. And then my Termies, they're coming too. So All right, that's what we Everybody needed. on. Yep. Except for Golg, who's right there. Who's <laughs> super dead. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go, Golg. Uh, what a way to go. All right, uh, he's going to uh, look at his options. Actually, are you out flanking the veterans? Let's uh, let's yeah. check that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, one to two is this side, three to four is that side, and five, six is my choice. Uh, three, four is that side. So we're over there. Cool. I suddenly feel slightly better about that as well, uh, although that's still kind of scary shit. over there. All right, we'll be back when he has everybody placed. Sweet. Okay, we are back basically at the end of Iron Warriors turn two movement phase. So the cataphract or the Tartaros moved on from the board edge there six inches. They're yep. heading down the hallway into danger zone. <laughs> uh, and then the outflanking vets moved here. As Tony uh, astutely pointed out, they are now in the side arc of the uh, Contemptor. Which is a big deal. Which is a big deal because they're only Cortis class or only armor 11 on the side. So uh, that's going to hurt. And then uh, these guys just moved up six to yep. uh, get some people in rapid fire range. Yep. So that is Iron Warriors movement. Are we ready to move right into shooting? Yep. Okay. Um. All right. So we're we're gonna start here because this is what matters. This is the big one. All right. So they're gonna fire the dreadnought. So we're Kay. gonna do two crack missiles hitting on threes. One hit and then strength eight. So need a threes. three to glance. Yep. And that is a one. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. Good job, guys. But, as he also pointed out, they have rending yeah. as marksmen. So. so they're not gonna get rapid fire, but I've got pretty much everybody with this guy 
and and the sergeant sergeant with pistol so you eight, have range. Uh, seven yeah. guys so one two three six. four five six six shots all right hitting on three on three tony what did you Ooh. do what did you do these dice derek did you make somebody angry in i the, did in the, in the, in the, i need to sacrifice a goat to the dice guys <laughs> or something all right we're looking for sixes looking for sixes here there oh, we go there we go there we go so that's, so that's uh plus d3 six right so now it's currently 10. yes so but he gets d3 right so if he gets a one it's only a it's a one so it's a glance glance so he will take the glance because they yep. only have uh they only have adamantic shielding oh, from the front arc. Okay. All right. Well, that could have been a lot cooler then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then this squad. Okay. They're facing the front. Yeah. Of that armor. Well, he does get the five up and it's 13. So. Oh, it's 13 too. Yeah. Shoot. The front is 13. Well, then what we're going to do is we're going to fire the Terminators. Okay. Um, so this guy was in rapid fire range, but the rest are not. Uh, and that means he's probably not within right. he's in pistol range. He might just be or just out. Oh, he's, he's in. He's in. All right, so one, two, three, five, four, five, six. Fire seven, the missile launchers eight, first. Nope. How do you have nine if you have two missile launchers? Eight. Eight. Okay. You're right. All right. Good point. Good point, Derek. <laughs> Math. Math. The mathematics of war somebody was just telling me about. <laughs> All right, hitting on three. Tony, Ooh. what a. That's Ooh, a that's cocked out, yeah. There, there we go. go. All right, and then forced wound, sixes are AP two. Uh, one wound, no AP. All right, let me see that one, Dirk. This is this is where oh, my armor right. saves come in. There, there it you is. Go. There it is. There you go. I knew that. All right, that was a needed thing. something. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna fire a couple frag missiles from the missile launchers. Right, rending frag. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. So we're gonna go right on top of your sergeant. Okay. So first one is gonna be on target. Get on. So that's two hits. Yep. The second one, same place. Uh, Dead it's on. gonna go, nice. it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna two. move over an inch, so it's gonna be two. Yep, so it's four. So four hits. And wounding on fours, but wounds, really looking for six sixes. Is. Oh, One there six. is a six and two regular wounds, sir. All right, how would you like me to do that? Uh, do the invuln first. Okay, so this is a four up. All right, okay. and then two, two ups. Nope. There it is. Cool. All right, and then the Tartaros Terminators are just going to run. They're going to advance. They got fancy Terminator So on. they're moving an inch. Uh. <laughs> cool. Cool beans. All right, and I guess that is my turn. Overview. Not horrible. Yeah. Oh, uh, they have a leadership test to make, actually. All right, let's see that twenty-five camera. Get right? One more. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're good. They don't care. They re-roll one if they fail anyway. Yeah. They re-roll the highest. So. Yep. All right. Sweet. Back with Salamanders, turn two. Golg is down. All available squads converge on the auxiliary engine bay, the veteran sergeant calmly relayed across the Vox net. Another veteran squad appeared through an open hatch nearby just seconds after the call went out. Bring down that dreadnought, ordered the freshly promoted veteran sergeant. A pair of missiles and a storm of bolter fire shot out from the newly arrived tactical squad. The missiles went wide, still having trouble locking targets in the oppressive heat, but one of the bolter shells managed to find a weak spot, damaging one of the Contemptor's auxiliary systems. The original squad targeted the Terminators and managed to bring down two of them in a hail of bolter shells and missiles. Okay, Salamanders turn two. I uh, do not have a fancy plus one for my reserves since I let somebody board my ship last turn. That's right. Um, so uh, they're identical, so I'm just rolling 2d6. I need a three up. Uh, Sweet. One and one. I'll take it. All right. And then uh, we're going for, um, let's say, what, one, two is that corner. Yep. Where he is, three, four is back on this corner back here, and then five, six will be my choice. We're hoping for a one, two. Yes. Uh, I'm not super upset about that because I was a little worried about finding somebody to leave back because yep. I got Tartaros coming through so uh, I'm gonna take that for now it was probably better would have been better over there because double flamer into his squad would have kind of hurt yeah we'll so um, that's that I'll be back when everybody's moved and uh, in place okay uh, salamanders turn two have finished their movement phase uh, I've come on here, just kind of snaking around the corner, getting on the full six inches. 
they're gonna play uh, rapid reaction force and come into this corridor here and just kind of hang out depending on where they go hopefully they can respond to that and then Salam uh, the cataphracty also did the same they didn't quite get all the way out of line of sight but I needed to uh, I needed to stem the tide of lost dudes and then the uh, kept contemptor moved up he's in hopefully decent charge range and uh, we'll see how that goes back with my brief but uh, hopefully productive shooting okay so flamer tony's counted for me i have yep. six over there yep which amazingly enough i have six dice sitting right here so oh, perfect. Uh, we are wounding on threes threes because i am um, strength four? six oh, by wounding on twos salamanders get plus one yep. um but i'm also shred because it's so mortalis oh gross okay cool all right so that would be six cool. um looks like take a three these up one at a time because first three up on yep. our buddy he's dead cool um not a look out there yeah well you want to yep. look out all of them or uh no i don't okay oh okay he's good uh look out sir good dead all right so that was three yep so I got three more. Uh, look out, sir. Yep, on his buddy. Good. Look out, sir. Yep, on his buddy. Good. And then look out, sir. Yep, on his sir. buddy. Oh, he's uh, good. He's Man, they good. like this sergeant. You do. Like this guy, he's a this bro. guy buys the beer all of the time. That's right. All right, and then we're gonna throw uh, carries into it too. Yep. So hitting on three now. Yep. Ouch, all of them. Okay. And twos, sixes are AP two. Yep. No sixes and three ones, so you have three armor saves, sir. Sweet, uh, we're gonna look out, sir. Yep, onto his buddy. He's A-OK. -okay. Look out, sir. Yep, onto his buddy. He's still good. And then one last look out, sir. Nope. Two up. Oh, thank God, it's a six. I forgot. I forgot you were rolling on a four up that whole time. Yeah. That was yeah. nice rolling. Yeah, they really like that, all Sergeant. That. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all of my shooting. Yep. So uh, I'm sitting here. I'm going to try and roll charge. Looks all like. All right. So I get Overwatch. Oh, yeah. Uh, two crack missiles hitting on sixes. Nope. So... Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll keep that roll. Okay. And then... So he fires on full ballistic yeah, skill. Yeah, but I still only hit once. Yep. Uh, and then front 13. Front 13 so five. So looking for five. That is glance. glance. You get an invuln save? Five up. Nope. nope. So I have one hull point. All right. And nothing else should be able to hurt. Correct. From the front. Yes. So. All right. He's gotten to one hull point, and uh, well, I'll just roll and see if we need to measure. All right. Oh, yeah. He makes it. He's shocking. nine. Yeah. Roar. Uh, and I'm also pumping rage too, so Ooh, he might kill himself off. again. Yep. yep. All right. <laughs> I mean, let's be consistent, right? <laughs> All right. We'll be fist. we'll be back with the close combat with the assault phase. All right. Back with the only close combat here. Uh, the dreadnought has five attacks, and he will attack first before the sergeant with the power fist. So hitting on fours. Well, two. Sweet. And then twos. Killing on not ones. Two dead. All right. Two dead marines. Crush. All right, then Sergeant. Should be coming back on fours, two attacks, I'm guessing? He's a vet Sergeant. I think he's still two attacks. Still be two. I think everybody's two. We'll be back in a second. I guess. All right, Sergeant's got two attacks, power fist. Uh, you want to push it again? I'm, I'm good, I'm, I'm looking right. at the red dot. This All right, time. cool. <laughs> All right, so two attacks, hitting on fours. Ooh, oh, two he means it. Now he needs fives to yep. uh, glance. Oh, oh, so close. Oh. All right. Um, yeah, the cracker name won't do it. So that is combat. Oh. I lost by two. Two. And so we're leadership so nine. Leadership. Oh. Oh, they break. They break. And I, uh, so normally Salamanders can't uh, add there, but he's not Legion of Stardace. Oh. The Dreadnoughts are not. Interesting. They're not, yeah, so. No, nope, you're getting away. Yes, I am. All right. So they're going to run 2d6. Seven inches back. That's probably for the best. Then you're gonna am scray. All right. 
Cool. And then the uh, contemptor will consolidate. Yep. Three inches. I'll be back with that move. Sweet. All right. Uh, wrap up Salamander's turn. Um, I consolidated that way. I'm in a little tricky spot. I did not uh, sweeping advance them. They made it away. And so uh, they regroup. I'm going to be taking si shots into the side. But I'm counting on the group there firing into my front arc is a better bet. We'll see. I'm probably going to regret that decision. But uh, Dreddy did his job. And then they just moved up. They ran uh, to get into a little bit better position. So that's the end of Salamander's turn two. Falkoth, engage the tactical squads and delay them as long as possible. All other units make haste to the central control stations. I have reports of an Iron Warrior Terminator squad there, ordered Captain Neven. Understood, ancient Valkoth gritted back as he lumbered forward, still straining to rein in the fiery machine spirit in his shell. Flames and shells shrieked from his weapons into the veteran tactical squad in front of him, felling several of the squad as they scrambled to protect the sergeant that was now acting commander of the engagement. The thrill of the destruction he had caused was too much for him to rein in, and he lost control of the machine spirit and charged headlong into the squad, a gurgling rage blasting from his vox emitters. He was oblivious to the missile smashing into him as he crashed into the squad, pulverizing two of them with his fist, their blood baptizing his shell. The iron warriors wisely fell back down the hall, trying to get some room between them and the raging dreadnought. Iron warriors turn three. Yeah. He's everybody's on the board, so he doesn't have to roll for that. But he does have a rallying. That's right. So let's see if here. they let's see if they come back. They say they're yeah. good. They're they're motivated. So he gets a three inch move. Three inch move. Do do do. Give him that side arc. Yep. All right. Well, I think you're in rear arc, but you know. Yeah. Same difference. <laughs> and these guys are just gonna hop up six inches this way. I on the prize. Oh, coming for it. All right, and my turbies are hopping up the hallway. I'm gonna roll a d6 and just run them. No, I know I'm gonna, gonna fire the door. Oh, right, right, okay. I wanna, I wanna charge it to slingshot. Gotcha. So shooting phase, uh, we're gonna start here. So they're snap shooting since they just rallied. Okay. Two crack missiles hitting on sixes. Sixes. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. And boom, that's a pen. I can't explode him because it's AP3 on a crack missile. That was good. All right, so he is down. Yeah. Uh, just stripped off his last hull point. There we go. That's what I needed. Um, so then that's actually all I have for shooting. These guys are going to charge the objective. Okay. Uh, five inches should make it. Just, but they do. Roar. I'm gonna smash some engines. Don't smash them too hard, you might need them later. But. <laughs> we'll bring our own engines, no right. cooler. Uh, and then Tartaros are gonna charge the door. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, they make it. Roar. A couple power fists are gonna try and punch that down. All right, so we're gonna do the Tartaros real quick. Uh, one guy's got a chain fist, so three attacks with that, hitting on threes to hit, and then 2d6. Uh, shocker, I broke it. Yeah, door is gone. All right, so they won that combat. They do not get to consolidate. Ah, that's important. Yeah. All right, so they're going to stand there and say, good job, guys. They're going to high five with their power fists. Right. These guys over here, going to activate them, pile in. Oh, you only have a power axe in that one? Yep. Oh. So, power axe, three attacks with the sergeant. Hitting on three? Hitting on three. Two? Two hits. Strength and then strength five, five versus so sixes. All right. There it oh, is. Oh, there it is. And I do not get an involve, so no, that's gone. So that one's just gone. And if you roll a six, the next one goes. There it is. All right, now we're in it. If you roll another six, the next one goes. Oh, come on. Oh! oh come on. All right, next that, one? That's game, yeah. Oh, it's a top. Oh, come on. No, throw. All, All right. right. That's the end of Iron Warriors, turn three. The veteran tactical squad that had fled the wrath of the Dreadnought quickly recovered and snapped off a pair of missiles into Valkos' rear armor, damaging critical systems and shutting his shell down. 
effectively removing him from the fight. The Terminators kept charging towards the control room, shredding blast doors as they went. The newly arrived veteran tactical squad charged into the nearby plasma conduit, exploding it and setting off a chain reaction that blew a further two conduits. The loss of one more vital control station would push the engines into a critical overload state that would require their immediate shutdown until repairs could be performed and the machine spirits assuaged. All right, Salamanders, turn three. Rolling for reserves, the last unit to come on, and they say yes, I got a four. So I'll be right. back with those. All right, we just had a long discussion off camera, um, trying to decide what to do with them. I am going to try and outflank them. Um, I think it gives me the best chances here mm -hmm. um, where the game's at right now. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll call one, two the corner I want. Yep. And five, six, I get to choose. That's oh. a one. All right, we'll be back when they're placed. All right. Okay, we have finished Salamander's turn three movement phase. Uh, they've moved up as far as they can. I've um, walked in closed doors. So I'm locking down the joint. I have to protect the last two. Um, so, uh, recap of where we're at right now. As it stands, I'm winning. Yes. So I have Warlord, First, First Blood, Blood, and two, do two, two doors, objectives. two objectives. Yep. So that's four. And he has blown up three objectives. So. Three. Uh, if he blows up one more, you're right, you need both. If you blow up one more. No, if I blow up one more, you lose an objective. Oh, right, because it's a two-way it's it's a a two two swing. swing. Yep, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, right, I have to protect these last two objectives at all costs. Yep. Um, so this is going to be a tight game. Uh, yep. But I did outflank here, and uh, we are going to roast some uh, Iron Warriors. Hopefully, Brilliant. hopefully quite well. All right, 16 uh, automatic hits. 16 automatics. I trusted Tony to count my dice. We'll see how well that worked for me. <laughs> Um, uh, threes. Threes. The wound and shred because of zone mortalis. Right. Because it's you normally know, strength, strength four, five. you yep. get strength yep. five. So yep. threes with shred. Yep. All right. So three sixes so far. And that many successes. And those are the re rolls. Okay. So we want some more sixes here. No, we don't. No, we don't. Yeah. Tony. Oh, oh, three more? Wow. All right. That's the most sixes I've ever rolled with my vets ever. Gross. All right, which ones do you want me to do first? Uh, hold on, let me go take a look. I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided he's going to take the uh, Wrens first. He's going right. to try and look so there's out six. So. I need all of these to be fours or better. Nope. So, six, the first six Marines are just dead. Four, five, six. Oh, I need to take out some missile launchers. All right, and then this many three ups. Uh, well, that's pretty decent, actually. Two more die. Which is not a... Ooh, which is... Marines. Adam. All right. The missile launchers are all that remain. Right. Uh, but then I get some bolter shots. I do have some bolter shots. I'm going to count some dice so you guys don't watch me do that. I'll be right back. All right. So we have 15 bolter shots. And, uh, yeah. Hitting on fours. Threes. Hitting on threes because I'm a space marine. I know how to do this. Yep. Wow. Okay. All right. And then fours. Sixes. Just, I'm just going to roll sixes and <laughs> just, just sixes. remove that. That's all that matters. And not, not a, a six. six. All right, there's a chance. All, All right, right. this many three ups. Oh, there oh we go. the two! So I close, needed. so close. Dang. All right, so that All was right. that squad wiped. Wiped out. Um, flamethrowers and zone mortalis, ladies Pretty and gentlemen, good. and salamanders. That helps. Mm -hmm. Strength and five veterans. helps, and veterans. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I have some run moves to make, and yep. uh, that's it. I have all run move to make, yep. and that's it. So I'll be back when they've moved, and we'll uh, recap. Yep. Arriving seconds too late to save ancient Valkoth or the vital plasma conduits, a Salamander veteran squad stormed into the engine bay. Quickly surveying the chamber, the sergeant ordered the purging of the Iron Warrior squad that had started the chain reaction. As flamers whooshed and bolters thundered, the Iron Warrior squad ceased to exist, leaving nothing but ash and charred ceramite to mark their passing. The rest of the Salamander forces continued to converge on the engine control room. Iron Warriors turn four. Here we go. Sweet. All right, so Tartarus, we're just going to move up, get ready to charge that door. Make sure I get this different thing. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's fine. All right, uh, 
and then these guys let's see we're not gonna get within rapid fire so I think they're actually just gonna stay where they are I'm, I'm nicely grouped up for some yep, uh, yep. So we're gonna chuck some frag missiles into that pile <laughs> of marines and see what happens I mean I feel like they have it coming do you have the uh, yeah. Oh, you do. All right. I get it. All right. So we're just gonna put it right on this guy's head. Yep. To hit a bunch of them. Uh, that's gonna be on target. Yep. So that is nine. Eight. Doesn't oh. quite get this guy. Oh, okay. And the next one. Ooh. Uh, that one's I gonna go three. nine. So five inches. It's probably gonna scatter off. Yeah, it's a three-inch blast. Yep. So. All right. So eight, eight. Marines. We're hoping for no sixes. All right, fours and sixes are the money. All right, so that's, what was that one? I don't I think it was a two. Yeah, I think so. All right, so one six and, ooh, and then this is shred because they're templates. No. Is just flamers that are shred? Yeah, uh, uh, let me let me double check yeah. that. So yeah, right. they are shred because of uh, Zone Mortalis. Yeah. Well, no right. more sixes. But one more wound, I'll well, take it. Yeah. All right, so I want you to take the armor saves first. Okay. So three armor saves. Yep. And then one guy is going to get rendered. Three up. They're oh, good. And then one and then, guy dies. And I'm going to call that PT. the closest yep. guy. All right. And I've got three bolters. Hitting on threes. Cock Cock die. Die. Let's go ahead and move them wherever you want. Them. That's right. <laughs> All right. So I'll hit. Hit and fours. All right. And there's one more dead. He's six. just dead. So yep. that's a flamer. That's right. Stupid flamers. Uh, Tartarus is going to charge the door. Shocker, they make it! Uh, Mr. Chain Fist. I think we just, yeah, yeah. Hits. Yeah, he breaks it. Shoo. Cool. The door's open. All right. All right. And that is my turn. That's Iron Warriors turn four. Back with us, Salamanders. The remaining Iron Warrior veteran tactical squad opened up on the Salamander squad, seeking revenge for their brothers. They managed to fell two of the salamanders with a storm of missile and bolter fire. Meanwhile, in the engine control room, the Iron Warrior Terminator squad continued to blast through doors on their way to the last two plasma conduits. Okay, salamanders, turn four. Um, they are just moving out of line of sight. I don't need to lose all of them. Pride of the Legion can come into uh, play here, potentially. Uh, the salamanders, cataphracty here, I, I'm. I'm still not sure I made the right decision. I waffled a lot. Essentially what I don't want to do is give him a free consolidate move. So they've kind of moved back to the side. They have to come in, they have to get to this door to be able to get to the last two uh, objectives. So he can choose to deal with me or he can ignore me, in which case then, you know, I might be able to pincer move and pull off what I'm afraid to do just by charging directly in. Um, and then they have moved around and they're heading in again to back up this. Um, they do what they do want to run. There's not a roll. So they're going to move three inches. Um, so I'll just move them forward three inches. They're going to end up here. Yeah. And uh, that'll be that. So we'll be back with Iron Warriors turn five. Yeah. All units in the control room, hold your position, Voxed Captain Event. Everyone else, delay the enemy and keep the remaining Iron Warriors engaged and away from the control center. Okay, Iron Warriors turn five. Yep. Five, five. last non-variable length turn of the game, which yep. is a big deal for Tony right now. Yes. All right. They're gonna move through. Why don't we just pull yeah. this? Yeah. Cool. Pull the door frame. That's all right, it's cool. We go there. A little bit of remodeling. These guys are gonna move up here. Take some more shots. Yep. Next vengeance. Well, you had more back there than I thought. I thought you were down a little lower. Yeah, not quite. Are you respawning over there? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put one frag right here. Yep. Oh, uh, that's gonna scatter off. Next one. That's gonna. Wow, that was off. the Damn. same roll. That's all right. Some bolters. Yep, I got three bolters. Three bolt shots. Hit, hit, hit. hit. You need those sixes again. Yeah, come on, sixes. Nope. One wound, one armor save, sir. 
There we go. I'm still plug a marine. All right, so he's dead. Cool. Off to the side. All right, and then the Tartaros are going to charge the door. Overwatch. <laughs> Shocker. Oh, they look make at it. that. They make it. They're motivated. They're going to go. Yeah, there's the chain fist. That's what I want. That's Mr. Can Opener. All right, so we're going to save us all a little bit of yep. time. There's just Shocker. no way with he all the power the fists that it can't blow that door. Yep. So. All right, so cool. there we are. Oh, uh, that is my turn. All right. Back with Salamander's turn five. Okay, mm -hmm. Salamander's turn five. I've done some shuffling and some moving. Uh, they moved up as far as they could to get line of sight on the charge. He joined that unit, um, so he could also get in on the charge and they're hanging back there. I'm gonna get him in the classic pincer move. Elsewhere, we've continued playing hide the veteran that tactical is. squad and uh, they're just chilling back there because at this point they're not really relevant. Um, so we had long discussions. It is still possible. A lot of things have to go Tony's way. I have seen that happen many, many times. So we'll see what happens. Yep. Coming back, I'm going to count out some dice, get ready to shoot, and then we will go. Yeah. Iron the Iron Warrior Tactical Squad continued to enact vengeance on the Salamander Squad, dropping another of their number. In the engine room, the Iron Warrior Terminators ignored the hulking Cataphracti Salamanders in the room and cut through the last remaining door between them and their objective, desperate not to fail Perturabo. Alright, Salamanders turn 5 shooting. Um, we're going to pistol shot in with them. He is going to rapid fire his combi Volkite because uh, uh, slow and pur purposeful, so yay. Uh, the red reds hit on 2s yep. and the rest hit on 3s. Okay, that's uh, pull that. And then on the whites, we're hoping for sixes. Yeah, fours and sixes, and then uh, threes on the reds. Threes on the reds, yep. So no yeah. sixes again, and like they're it. all gone. All right. Uh, all right, so let's do, which one you want me to do first? Let's just do that, just a two up. All right, so two up for the pistol. Ah. Oh. That's a uh, that's a combi melter. That is a combi melter. And then uh, cool. what, and then why the don't two we throw the two we're good. Uh, I should have done it the other way because then I yeah. could have at least gotten a one Volkite fire. Yep. All right, so that's one casualty, which is, uh, that swings things good. in my favor more yep. than I want it to actually. Uh, and then we're gonna do six combi bolter shots from the Cataphracti in the back. Yep. And these are twin, twin links. links. There we go. And fours. Fours. Ah! Yes. Three. Ooh, lose the lightning claw. Lose lightning claw. That's well, that'll good. protect the power armor just a little bit. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, we're gonna declare a charge with uh, the veteran tactical squad. All right, so initiative test. This is kind of important. Oh yep. yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna blow some things up. So I've got one, two, three combi melters. We're gonna fire off, actually let's do this differently. So auto cannon first. Okay. Hit, hit. hit, twos to wound. That is one wound, one regular armor save. Yeah! So that's the so first guy dies. All right, now three combi melta shots. Okay. Ooh, wow. one hits and one wounds. Uh, closest. Yep. Yep, that guy just gets vaporized. That guy's vaporized by a melta shot? Yep, and that's my Overwatch. All right. So roll that charge. So this is Salamanders, and I suck at rolling charges anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, buddy. Five. Uh, I think... Four. Four. Is that... But do you get minus one to your charges? Yeah, but so I'm still... Three. Mm, nope. You fail. No, you fail. fail. That's all right. They'll go in. Good day, sir. They'll go in. I'll take that. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Any challenges? Uh, no. All right. I don't have any. Uh, my sergeant's going to declare a challenge. Oh, okay. I'll take it on my Sarge. That's right. Which I'll go first. Yep. And you're going to get a roll of one. So. Probably. Uh, that's three sh three attacks? Yep. All right. Three attacks with the Sarge. Oh, your Lightning Claw is technically going first. That's Master right. Crafted. One hits. Force. Nope. nope. All right. Yeah, my Lightning Claw is good to go. Three attacks with the Lightning Claws. Hitting on fours. Two hits. Wounding on fours. Rerolling with Shred. Because Lightning Claws. One armor save, sir. Yeah, take that! <laughs> that didn't even roll. That kills a power fist, that's huge. Um, all right, then everything else is gonna go at the same time. Yep. Right, so, yeah, I can heal, I can tell like this. So there's three more guys like and your that. sergeant. Yep. 
the angry. All right, so sergeant against your sergeant. One hit. Oh, nothing. All right. Now a ton of power fists. Yep. Well, you get your three power fist stacks. How about you roll those? All right. Two hit and twos. All right. Five ups. One. Sweet. I'll have the lightning claw yet. And then you have four attacks. Four six. Attacks. Six attacks. Because there's three guys left. Yep. yep. And twos. Four. Four up in bone, sir. Um, I don't really think it matters how we take it here. It does not. Yes, they're dead. They are dead. And I get to consolidate D6 inches. Three. Three. All right. So they're going to come back here. Cool. All right. That's the end of Salamander's turn five. Yep. The Salamanders in the engine room opened up on the Iron Warrior Terminators, felling two of their number. All units, engage the Iron Warriors and hold them here, ordered Captain Event. The Salamander Tactical Squad attempted to engage, but were hampered by the wreckage of the door and lost two of their number to shots from the Iron Warriors. The Terminators had no such issue and smashed into the Iron Warriors, cutting down one of them. The Iron Warriors retaliated and wiped out the Salamander Terminators to a man. All right, the uh, game is over. Tony ob obliged and rolled a one. So that means we do not go on to turn six. This is the state of the battlefield uh, at the end here. They were so close. Next turn, they would have walked out, most likely just popped that uh, plasma conduit sitting right there in the corner, and that would have been game. It would have been a two-point swing. Um, not a ton left on the board. I have attack squad back here, an attack squad here. Uh, along with my Praetor, and he's got his Tartaros and part of Attack Squad over there. So it was a bloody game. It's Zone it Mortalis. It, it's supposed to be a bloody game, so I guess we did that right. Uh, so that's it. We'll be back with a uh, post game, and uh, that's that's it. Salamander's victory. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Event stood in the doorway opposite the hulking Iron Warriors. He had little hope of stopping them before they managed to destroy another plasma conduit and send the reactors into meltdown. Suddenly, a rune lit up and began flashing in the corner of his visor display. The shipwide box net was back up. Lock down the Engineerium. Emergency protocol Omicron. Send available reinforcements to my location immediately, the captain ordered. He saluted the Iron Warriors with his thunder hammer as blast shielding slammed down between him and the Terminators, sealing them into the room with no hope of reaching the vital plasma conduits. Alright, we're back for post-game. Um, spoiler alert, the Salamander's victory. Uh, it was not by any means a sure thing. No, it was tight. It was tight. <laughs> it was tight. Yeah. I'm not sure if you'd have rolled anything other than a one or a two in that last. Uh, yeah, if it turned six would have been, been interesting. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we both have a couple things to talk about. Why don't you go first since you're the guest? All right. Well, you know that I liked was the veteran squad that started the chain reaction that yeah. got me three points. They did their job. With a with um, a, um, axe power axe, yeah. with a power axe. Yeah, the no sergeant less. came yeah. in, yep. did his job. Um, yeah, I liked the. Uh, you know, like their ability to outflank. Uh, love the missile launchers with the Spencer webs. That was pretty huge. Yeah, um, veterans are just a very, very flexible unit. They're a point investment, but I think they they are worthwhile after yeah. having used them now. I do agree. Uh, and then I wanted to talk for a second about uh, the <laughs> failure that is Erasmus Golg. Um, I mean, it's, it's straight out of the heresy. It's fine. He's, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he was definitely very underwhelming, but that was more just a, a dice rolls, man. That first couple turns, that I was, could not. That was a freak shot, man. I just it was. It was, but that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, you know. that's true. Uh, overall, yeah, I was happy with how the army performed. Um, you know, all all th all three of my units that I brought um, were worthwhile. Um, you just you know. not you refusing to count gold. Yeah, well, goal. you know, he just, he just didn't do anything. <laughs> um, but that that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. You now, and in some respects, he did do something. I mean, he ate. A bunch of fire for the veteran squad, sure. which is kind of what I wanted him to do. Right. So I guess I can't complain too much. But no, no, it was a good game. Really tight. Came right down to it. Um, it was kind of some fun swings with uh, the chain reaction. It really did. Yeah, that was pretty big. So yeah, so yeah it was cool to see. I brought my vet tech squad. Um, they walked on. They managed to pull that out flank, and they walked on, and they literally vaporized yeah. that squad after the chain reaction. It was a turn late, but yeah, uh, yeah. to a man, they just blew it away. Melted them. Um, 
double flamer, 16 shots with the flamer, and then because he had just um, he had just charged in, so he was all nice piled up. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way they performed. Um, sure. And have a talk with the other vet technical squad, like really failing a three inch charge, four inch charge, right? Um, yeah. But that happens to me more often than not. Probably shouldn't play salamanders. That's right. Maybe I'll play word bearers or something. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, uh, like he said, super swingy game. Um, I actually, there's probably a spot on the camera where I thought that was game when yep. he blew three, and I'm like, I yep. quick did math in the head, and I forgot it was warlord and first blood. Um, but yeah, it's a you, you hit one, you can roll a six. And yep. blow up another one, and he did that twice. It yeah, was that was like, pretty silly. Boom, boom. Um, so, that's it. Yeah. Uh, next up, we're coming back with... Uh, so, we've protected the Engineerium. Our engines are intact. Uh, but they are going to go after the weapons batteries, because my uh, systems are coming back online. I'm going to start firing back on their ship. Can't have that. Uh, can't have that. So, we're going after weapons batteries. Uh, that's right. That scenario is a little interesting. We'll have to play with setting it up and making sure it's balanced for both sides. It's a little goofy. Um but yeah, other than that, I'm pretty happy with the game. Yeah. And uh, I mean, most of the winners usually are. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I was I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to go south real quick, but it didn't. So we'll see you back for episode three. Thanks very much for watching.